गुड इवनिंग एंड नमस्कार टुडे विल टेक ए लुक एट शंकरा बिल्डिंग प्रोडक्ट्स लिमिटेड हेडक्वार्टर्ड एट बेंगलोर हेडेड एज सीईओ बाय सिद्धार्थ मुंड्रा एंड मैनेजिंग डायरेक्टर सुकुमार श्रीनिवास इट हैज परफॉर्म रिजनेबली डिसेंटली इन क्यू फोर लेट एस लुक एट वॉट इट से शंकरा से क्यू फोर इज जनरली गुड फॉर अस from revenue and uh, cash flow uh, perspective which got impacted due to covid-19 this year employee or community safety measures for covid-19 are being followed very well we are navigating the impact of uh, the pandemic uh, uh, <coughs> at present liquidity is our key focus now strong focus on collections liquidating the existing inventory no fresh capex plans but existing uh, capex uh, uh, is running focus is on reducing overall debt levels now cost control align cost structure according to current business needs rental negotiation also is being undertaken further source uh, rationalization is to be undertaken balance uh, sheet uh, strengthening measures are also being uh, uh actually pursued now some present statistical information is as follows retail space is 0.54 million sft products are 75 plus sku's are 30000 plus and state served are 9 and union territory served are 1 there has been a strong growth in revenues and profits in q4 q4 volume growth is 14 percent year on year but january and february is 23% uh, year on year march only it suffered q4 value growth is 12% year on year but january and february is 19% year on year now comparable sales growth if you see in q4 6.5% year on year sales growth <coughs> and january and february sales growth was 21.5% year on year Retail margin in Q4 is 7.9 percent. Q4 uh, FY20 profit after tax growth is 326 percent year on year. This is very important. Profit after tax has grown in Q4 at uh, 3 ton 326 uh, percent year on year. Look at uh, revenue. <coughs> Q4 FY19 last year revenue was uh, 598 crores. Now Q3, that is previous quarter, Q3 of 520 is 700 crores, uh, and Q4 is 667 crores. I repeat, revenue last year same quarter 598 crores, revenue current year Q4 is 667 crores, but previous quarter is 700 crores. So some of the effect was there up due to COVID-19. <coughs> Now EBITDA Q4 FY19 is 16 crores, Q1 is 31 crores, Q3 is FY20 32 crores, Q4 FY20 27 crores. So there is improvement in uh, EBITDA. Profit after tax is Q4 FY19 last year three, just 3 crores. Now Q1 was 8 crores, Q2 was 10 crores, Q3 was 13 crores and Q4 was 11 crores. 3 crores last year Q4, 11 crores current year Q4, but previous quarter 13 crores. So some effect on because of uh, COVID-19. <coughs> so let us uh, take a look at uh, the performance once more uh, uh, due to COVID-19, how it got affected. Revenue in Q4 uh, was 667.3 crores. Q, uh, in Q4 uh, last year was 598 crores. Uh, the improvement is 12 percent. EBITDA 27.1 crores in Q4 this year, 15.5 crores in Q4 last year, 74 percent growth. Profit after tax uh, 10.9, uh, 11 crores almost. Uh, uh, last year Q4 was 2.6 crores and improvement is 326 percent per annum. Uh, let us take a further look into the Q4 performance. Revenue breakup uh, for FI20, where which region accounted for more means Karnataka 47 percent, Andhra Pradesh 6 percent, Tamil Nadu 15 percent, Kerala 12 percent, Telangana 9 percent, other states 11 percent. 
though almost uh, uh, half of uh, the sales came from Karnataka, 47%. The number of retail stores are 120. Last year it was 123. Now, total area is 5,42,233 SFT. Last year it was more 5,67,202 SFT. Average store size was uh, uh, 4,519 now. Last year it was 4,233 only. Average ticket size is 29,000 now, 28,000 last year. Revenue from retail stores is 1,441.8 crores. Uh, last year it was uh, 1431. <coughs> EBITDA margin uh, is 8%. Last year it was 8.8%. <coughs> now presently r- on date 115 stores only are there because the company has shut 5 more stores in uh, Kunnamangalam, Calicut. Kunnamangalam is one place, Calicut is another place, Mancherial is another place, uh, uh, in the, I think it is in Telangana, Medavakam and uh, KK Nagar in Chennai, Maradahalli in Bangalore, Kunnamangalam I think is in Calicut, Mancherial in Telangana, Medavakam and KK Nagar in Chennai, Maradahalli in Bangalore. <coughs> During this quarter, five stores were closed, many more are under consideration, not many more, a few more are under consideration. The company has put on hold fresh capex projects and said that only ongoing necessary capex is being completed. <coughs> now, it's very difficult to assess the future outlook. All this company says very difficult to assess the future outlook for the company at this stage of COVID 19 crisis. April had negligible sales, but May had picked up reasonably. Profit and loss picture is very healthy. Balance sheet is uh, a concern as net debt and uh, acceptances have gone up quarter on quarter by uh, rupees 64 crores. Receivable days has gone up to 60 from 48 in la- last year. <coughs> now we have seen uh, uh, the income, EBITDA, uh, profit uh, after tax, etc. Now, the current market price is around 364. So, uh, based on the uh, latest uh, uh, <coughs> uh, price earning, uh, price, uh, price earning comes to around 18. <coughs> we'll see that also. Hmm? Uh, the total equity as on date is uh, 507.5 uh, crores. Last year it was 479.1 crores. Cash equivalent. Uh, cash and equivalent is 13.5. Last year it was uh, 9.2 only. So there is a huge increase in cash balances. Bank balance is now 7.3. Last year it was 8.3. <coughs> Slight reduction in bank balance, but cash has increased uh, very well. There is no problem of cash. Liquidity is reasonably uh, better. Basic uh, EPS is 4.94 now. Last year, same quarter, it was 0.71. Market price 364. Price earning is around 18 now, based on Q4 EPS. <coughs> Market capital is 784 crores. Uh, last year, price earning was uh, 36. No price earning has come down. It has become more attractive if uh, only sales pick up. Now, industry price earning is 23.47. Uh, 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 price to book is 2.42, face value is 10. <coughs> Let us also take a look at uh, the uh, sh- shareholding pattern. Promoters hold 56.44%, uh, pledging is 0, FIA and FPI is 25.48, total DIA is uh, 9.53. Uh, mutual funds 4.33, others 5.2, uh, other uh, DIAs is 5.2, others 8.55, total 100. Promoters hold 556.44. That's important. So, uh, healthy uh, um, way of uh, running the company. <coughs> now, what is our final analysis? 
See, Shankara Building pro Products, two years back, was running very well. I think this, uh, the share price had gone up to some 1,700, uh, something like that. From there, it has fallen and fallen and fallen, has uh, fallen to 330, something like that at present. Now, uh, COVID is there. <clears throat> Last two years, construction industry has suffered. But now, government is giving a lot of incentives for the construction industry. But uh, uh, COVID-19 should go. <clears throat> the lockdown should go. Unlock 1.0 has started. Therefore, let us uh, hope. Now, uh, government has given a lot of incentives to the construction industry. Please understand. Loans, moratorium on uh, uh, payments, something, moratorium, not moratorium, postponement of uh, interest rates. So many things are there. Reduction of interest rates. So many things are there. So, long-term outlook is definitely very good. For all industries and construction industry especially, but short term outlook up to Q1 uh, results fully. That is April May zone result could be bad because April lockdown was serious. Now Q2 onwards uh, lockdown effect may not be there. Now it is being lifted, unlock is going on. Therefore, I expect results from Q2 to be very good. But till then, you will have to wait. Long term investors can definitely take a look at Shankara building products. It's a growing country, construction also will grow. And uh, Shankara building product uh, is one of the efficient retailers. <clears throat> Thank you for listening. I will be back with you with another good uh, long term investment opportunity. Thank you.